friends here i can see a lot of people representing all walks of life i don't i don't think i can even name all those walks of life uh, from where i can see a lot of dignitaries and not only from india but from many countries all across the globe you can see people from us europe asia southeast asia africa so i think we have to thank our friend vinith rai to have come to delhi after 7 years he was telling us that it is, this is the seventh summit and it took him 7 years to come to the capital for organizing this summit we have to congratulate him for taking up this very i would say innovative initiative about innovations because he is the one who has thought of it first and has brought all stakeholders on one platform not only from india but from all across the globe and as i see it in india this is for us when it comes to the capital it is coming at a time when we fortunately have a very very dynamic and a visionary prime minister in this country who has a very thorough vision about a about an inclusive development who wants to involve everybody in the country who has become a symbol of the dreams of every indian and every indian reposes a lot of faith in him who has given us a very great slogan dream which is implementable the make in india program and who is giving the best possible most scientific most professional push to the movement of skill development entrepreneurship promoting innovations and all those things so this has come at the right time my respect for this forum sankalp forum grew more when i learned that the focus of the whole forum is more and more for the downtrodden and the deprived and the real needy and the poor who actually deserve much more than they have got in the last 67 years recently i was party to and witness to one of the initiatives of the government of india which to give it the status was hosted by the president of india in collaboration with our own ministry where innovators from all over the country from the remotest part of the country and most of them normal common people laymen very poor in terms of their economic status they were invited to rashtrapati bhavan they stayed there literally for 7 days there was a good workshop there was a great exhibition there where they displayed their skills and where they were honored by no less than anybody in fact the rashtrapati ji himself honored them so this particular activity which you have brought to delhi at this stage i think it is a most welcome step i can assure on behalf of my ministry i will enumerate a number of things uh, which we have been doing to promote this movement in the country that we are our we are our heart and soul into is into this movement and we are neck deep into this movement and we want to promote it to the maximum level we respect professional opinion all the scientific opinion the professional opinion the opinion coming from the industry the donors and everybody we are going to convert it into solutions which are implementable which become easily accessible to the people and i agree with swami ji when he said that uh, it's very important that along with make in india we have to focus on make india and along with internet 
we have certainly to strengthen the net inside because if we can't uh, really produce good human beings we may be a good scientist we may be a good industrialist we may be a good donor but if we are not a good human being we may probably not be able to provide the type of solutions that uh, we are supposed to provide over the years my personal experience about the power of innovation i will only share a couple of them i remember uh, some 9 years back there used to be a huge movement in delhi about say no to plastic bags and it was part of an international movement which was happening because these plastic bags they were causing so much of uh, destruction to our uh, plant life to they were in fact suffocating our pets they were suffocating our cows they were suffocating our uh, sewers and everything and even the supreme court had mentioned so much and that was the time when everybody was uh, shouting uh, himself or herself hoarse about it the government was also forced to do something but uh, in fact not doing something and that was the time when i remember i started thinking about it and uh, uh, there when we started brainstorming with a couple of people we uh, we in fact developed uh, an innovative strategy of uh, handling how we could do this issue take up with this issue so we i found that there was a uh, catholic church of uh, in delhi uh, who had something like 1250 self help groups and with 15000 women working in the uh, uh, you can say the uh, deprived areas in delhi and these women in fact needed lot of support and we had some friends in calcutta where the women were also simultaneously working on some jute bags and they were used to produce that jute bags for 3 rupees and here in delhi the shopkeepers in fact to take care of that no to the plastic bags they were trying to exploit the people by substituting them with some textile things which were again uh, dangerous for the environment so we got that collaboration done with the help of the industry of those self help groups in west bengal and these poor women in delhi and there were those thalas produced in west bengal in 3 rupees they were being sold here for 15 rupees and when the industry helped us and put their names on the thalas the cost got subsidized and hundreds and thousands of women with a small movement they got that help and we could actually we were able to protect the environment i am reminded of the application of innovation and management strategies in whether it was the green revolution when you had those uh, uh, improved seats and they were uh, used widespread in a widespread manner the white revolution where you had that milk uh, activity uh, you can say clubbed with the cooperative movement whether it was the telecom movement when we had those pcos much before the uh, uh, age of uh, uh, internet and mobile telephony and i am also reminded of my own initiative in the terms of uh, polio eradication where we saw that there were hundreds and thousands of problems that we encountered but the only thing that we used to do was to call a, a director of a management institute to give us a solution a new innovative solution he will give us within one hour and i used to tell him sir you are great how did you provide the solution to such a difficult situation he said i don't do anything about it i just tell my young students this is the problem you give me the solution and they used to give me a great solution and we find so much of uh, difficult problems being encountered by those innovations innovative solutions so i feel that uh, this is the right time when uh, this whole movement is growing in india this certainly can take the country forward i'll just mention a few of the initiatives that because uh, we have a lot of people here who are uh, uh, from across the globe so they should have some idea about 
what our government and particularly our science and technology ministry is trying to strengthen this movement in terms of our collaborations with our relevant partners. I just for the sake of putting and placing that on record, I have to tell you that we have a National Innovation Foundation in Ahmedabad which has been doing sustained work on scouting, registering and value adding to local grassroots innovation. Since inception, this NIF has been able to build up a database of more than 1,81,000 ideas, innovations and traditional knowledge, knowledge practices, not all unique from over 555 districts of the country. The grassroots innovations are intrinsically cost effective and utilize the local resources and aim at solving the local problems of the people. Innovative milking machines, cow dung pot making machine, seed cum fertilizer dribbler, walker with adjustable legs are some innovative projects which have reached the production stage only recently. Then the Department of Science and Technology. It is also implementing a program on technology business incubator, which focuses on tapping and incubating potential ideas and innovations through technology-based startup creation process. And by effectively utilizing the requisite expertise, facilities and other infrastructure available in the host institution and the adjoining region. A TBI is designed to physically incubate eight to 10 startups in a year. Around 75 science and technology entrepreneurship parks and technology business incubators have been set up across the country by the Department of Science and Technology in various technological areas. Then our CSIR is a big institution where we have over 38 huge labs all over the country is addressing grassroots innovation through CSIR 800 program, which focuses on science and technology interventions for improving the quality of life of people at the base of the economic pyramid and removing drudgery. Innovation in industries is being catalyzed through the new Millennium Indian Technology Leadership Initiative program about which uh, Dr. Didar Singh was also mentioning in the morning and he was so happy about it, which is a public-private partnership effort for promoting the research and development in the country. It looks beyond today's technology and thus seeks to build, capture and retain for India a leadership position by synergizing the best competencies of publicly funded R&D institutions, academia and private industry. Then another initiative is the Department of Science and Industrial Research, Scientific and Industrial Research is operating a scheme which is called PRISM, promoting innovations in individuals, startups, and MSMEs, wherein support is offered by any individual, uh, to any individual in the country, be it a scientist, technologist, farmer, or even a, an illiterate housewife including students for converting their innovative ideas into workable models or prototypes. Then there is another thing which I would like to mention. There are so many of them which I could mention if I had the uh, freedom of time. The Technology Development Board has also collaborated with the Confederation of Indian Industry to create the Global Innovation and Technology Alliance for IP acquisition, scouting of technology across the globe. TDB has also promoted Millennium Alliance program in collaboration with FICI and USAID to <coughs> leverage Indian creativity, expertise and resources to identify and scale innovative solutions for the benefit of the base of pyramid populations across India in the world. Friends, uh, I know I have already uh, surpassed uh, the time. I am only reminded of one, I, I, I just want to uh, 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 quote a small uh, message from one book that I read long back and which has, I think, inspired uh, most of us who are maybe working in this uh, field. 
This is a book which ignited the minds of all those who <laughs> work with a dream for an inclusive future. I am talking of the late Professor C.K. Pralada's book, Fortune at the Bottom of the Pyramid. And I uh, remember that my own idea for a poor to poor trade network a couple of years back had its genesis in this book. The central message of this book, I have tried to sum up in four or five lines. The world's most exciting, fastest growing new market is where you least expect it, at the bottom of the pyramid. Collectively, the world's billions of poor people have immense untapped buying power. They represent an enormous opportunity for companies who learn how to serve them. Not only can it be done, it is being done very profitably. What's more, companies are not just making money. By serving these markets, they are helping millions of the world's poorest people escape poverty. I think uh, the Sankalp Forum with all the great people sitting on the dais and so many great people who have a real true heart because they have a true heart that is why they are here in this uh, uh, forum i think uh, all of us can actually ensure that we as social entrepreneurs and impact investors can make all this happen to the poor people of this country and realize the dreams of Swamiji when he says that we have to, within Make in India, we have to also make India. And India is will be delivered only when we will be able to take care of these still millions of the poor and the deprived and the have-nots. Thank you so much.